For most events, music and visuals go hand in hand. Live visuals are performed alongside a DJ or musician. By using the BPM or tempo of music, we can complement live music by synchronizing the visuals. Below the layers and deck is where you can specify BPM. By default, Resolume is set to 120 BPM, but you can click on the BPM to enter any value if you know the beats per minute of the music. The plus and minus buttons increase and decrease the BPM. The next two buttons are used to nudge the BPM if your playback is not in sync. The percentage can be changed in the preferences. The slash 2 button halves the current BPM and the star 2 button doubles it. If you don't know the BPM of the music, you can use the BPM tapper button. Before we go over how that works, let's discuss the BPM timeline, which is one way to synchronize BPM with your content. First we'll trigger a clip. Click on the transport drop down menu where timeline is currently selected. Choose BPM sync. Now let's set the BPM using the BPM tapper. We'll play a music track. To find the tempo of a song, it's helpful to do a 4 count on beat. For example, find the beginning of the beat and count. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we'll do a 4 count while clicking the BPM tapper, and then tap the resync button again on the first beat. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Resync. If done correctly, the beat indicator to the left of our BPM will move on every beat of the music. The square should be in the top left position on every first beat. BPM is now matched to the music. The playhead moves through the entire clip and starts back at the end point on the first beat. The beat's parameter controls the playback speed of our clip. For example, by using the slash 2 button, we can halve the number of beats, which also halves the time it takes to playback the entire clip. By doubling the beats using the star 2 button, it takes twice as long to play back. One feature worth noting is random playback on a BPM synced clip. By enabling this, the clip will randomly jump to a beat on the timeline. Make sure to tap the resync button to make sure playback remains on beat. By synchronizing clips to BPM, not only will clips appear more cohesive with music, but they'll also remain on beat if BPM changes occur and are resynced.